What it do, peeps? What up, my YouTubers? Anybody who's just kind of browsing and you can, you stumble across this video, um, I just want you to know that, you know, if you're out there dating right now, you know, you're you're meeting people, you want to build a genuine connection with someone. Um, one thing you have to be prepared for is the unknown, right? Um, you guys got to keep in mind that people are always in flux. People, we as humans, you know, we're, we're energy. We're an energy source. Um, so we're constantly changing. We're constantly evolving. Um, our bodies change. Our minds change. We adapt to certain things and scenarios and situations. Um, we also, you know, relationships come to an end sometimes and you have to transcend into something else um, or into someone else <laughs> to date someone new. So always keep in mind that, you know, when you're dating somebody, you always want to build a relationship first. You want to make sure that you guys have a bond, um, that there's good communication, that there's just a solid foundation this generation moves so fast that you guys, you guys do not build a solid foundation. And this is what I think in my heart is messing up and ruining relationships that should be lasting. You know, people should be getting married. People should be doing those things that were designed to do as humans, you know, to have a successful, loving, caring, compassionate relationship. We're not getting to that level because, and it's and if we are, it's, the percentages are very limited now. We're not transcending, you know, we're not really loving each other as we should. You know, we put so much emphasis into social media, what is desired by the social media um, algorithms, what is desired by this culture. Um, we move very, very fast that we literally, we don't build a foundation with people. We, it's like, it's like trying to build a house and you don't set a foundation. You start to lay, you know, the externals and then eventually the earthquake comes and it fucking falls apart, right? When there's chaos, shit falls apart. And the reason shit falls apart when there's chaos is because you, there's no foundation. There's no friendship. There's no Hey, let's let's start let's start a relationship and then we'll evolve the relationship as it goes, you know? Like the last relationship I was in, for example, this this person wanted to move so fast, like within a month or two. You know, like meeting the family very, very quickly. Everything just happened so fast. And as fast as it started is how it ended. Just like anything that just starts very rapidly. You can't expect results at the gym within just three to six weeks, right? It's consistently that like you have to be consistent every single day for about at least one to two years. And so you, you can definitely, you know, see some results in your building, you're setting your foundation, but it's the same thing here. Like it's not going to be solid results, long-term results, right? You only get re long-term results over time. Like anything, you put into four or five years at the university, long-term results. Maybe you get a good dividend payout. Maybe you don't. It just depends on you as a person. And this is what happens with relationships. They're no longer paying out dividends because we're not putting foundations into them. We're not building relationships with people. We're not dating people for the sole purpose that they're humans. We date people now. And treat them like a fucking ticket, right? Like putting a ticket into a basket and then just kind of getting see, see what comes out. And we're treating people just literally like just robots. It's it's crazy. There's like no emotion now. Like it's women do this too a lot. Um, you know, and of course they have the reasons and men have the reasons. But as men, you know, we're no longer marrying. You know, we're no longer. Wanting to have kids, it's it's crazy. This culture is just evolving into something else because it's just so fast paced. And honestly, this is the culprit of this is social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat. There's just so much dopamine in and out every single day. 
bam, bam, just hammering into your brains. So essentially with time, you become desensitized as a human. You start, you stop showing loving, compassion, and care to another human. And I think just as a society, we're evolving into this, you know, just as um, these individuals that just don't have any like sentiments for others. It's crazy. It's that's just how I feel. That's how I've seen. I feel like the best relationships that you that you is people that have known each other for a very long time. And it, it starts as a friendship. It evolves and then it transcends. And then you just feel comfortable with that person. That person gets to know you for really who you are. They get to know you for your insecurities, for the things that you do like, the things that you don't like, the things that you're, you're trying to better in, you know yourself in. That person is not just a friend, it's a confidant, somebody that you can trust, somebody that, you know, that doesn't that doesn't put you down, but motivates you and encourages you, of course, lectures you, because sometimes we need lecturing. Relationships are huge in lecturing, because, you know, sometimes somebody does something that the other person doesn't like, and you got to be able to listening. Listening is a skill set. People don't, don't understand that, but listening is a fucking skill set. If you become a good listener with time, you become a better understand. You understand people better. And this is why I love, this is why people, like, a lot of people take communication courses for granted. I think they're great courses if you use the tools very carefully. If you apply the tools very carefully, communication transcends anything. It doesn't matter how smart you are. If you're a bad communicator, you'll get nowhere. I'm going to repeat this again. It doesn't matter how fucking smart you are. You can have a high Q of 180 and still be a dumbass because your communication is not proper because your listening is not good and you don't send the right messages at the right time, which means you don't move. You don't get anywhere. Communication is important in this day of age. You guys have to learn to use it correctly. But you got to be a good listener and we're not good listeners. So next time you're out there dating people, you're out there meeting people, you have to understand that communication is extremely important. Listening is everything and anything in the world. Remember, the world is literally a stage and you're just an actor in it. You're acting in a sense, right? Your persona, the it, the ego and the ID. Remember that? Sigmund Freud. Um Carl Jung, all these great psychologists. But basically, bottom line is building a foundation, building a solid friendship. It will evolve into something great because I know a lot of us are going based off on looks, but I've, I've met plenty of, plenty of women that are beautiful and they're not compatible and vice versa. You know, so it doesn't matter how how, how, how gorgeous somebody is. How attractive a guy is. The compatibility stems from how good of a listener is this person? How good of a personality do they have? Are, are they going to support my decision making? Are we going to make decisions together? Do we like some of the same things? Do we don't? Where do we defer? What are the political views? Why? Right? Life is literally an interesting place to be in, but we just got to learn to be very very proactive at listening and understanding people. People are, they're perfect beings, but can't take them for granted, right? So listen, communicate, build a foundation. Do not miss building the foundation with people, especially if you're older. Make sure that this person's a good fit because you know what happens? You know, you get to get old and then that person was never a good fit and then you throw away a lot of time. So just make sure that... When you're dating, you're dating with purpose. There's a reason. There's a why. There's a how. There's a when. Answer all these questions. Make a list of things that you're looking for in someone and don't deviate from that list. And if this person's not willing to work with you, not listen to you, not doesn't give a fuck, then move on. You don't need that. Life's way too fucking short and too complex. And you got to always keep in mind, as humans, we're always evolving. We're always growing. We're always in flux. Communication is important. Listen. Listen, interpret, correspond. Listen, interpret, and correspond. Correspondence is key, but listening is the most important thing that anyone should fucking learn. If you're a good listener, you can change the world. And I'm not just making this shit up. 
I know plenty of sophisticated intellectuals who are amazing speakers who have done very well for themselves because they understand the power and the dynamic of communication. Have a good day and maybe I'll make another video sometime in the future. Maybe like in 24 hours, three to five business days. <laughs> Peace.